Hi, I am talking to Roger Narayan today. He is very famous and well established uh, actor in Hollywood. It is nice to have you here and uh, thank you very much for taking out your time. To do Absolutely, this. it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me on the show. Okay, let's start with <laughs> your childhood. Uh, sure. How was it? Uh, you know, I had a very um, you know blessed childhood. I think you know my my parents were very uh, uh, very open to uh, exposing me to a lot of culture. Uh, my mom was a classical you know uh, Karnataka uh, vocalist, so I always grew around a lot of good music and, and and good family values. So that was I think the the biggest strong foundation for me. And um, when I was in uh, kindergarten. <laughs> My mom still reminds me that I was, uh, I used to be very naughty and I, I used to be very high energy, very hyper. So one of my uh, kindergarten teachers decided to enroll me in a play. So she made me Peter Pan in the, in the kindergarten play. <laughs> so that was actually the beginnings of you know, my work as a child actor in, uh, in India, in, in Bollywood. So I started off in theater like that. I did a few more plays. I was completely hooked on it. I uh, really love the whole, you know, kind of game of pretending and, and playing somebody else. And, and uh, uh, my teachers and my parents tell me that kind of controlled my energy and I became a more <laughs> a manageable kid after that. So in, in a way, you know, I think theater came as a kind of a blessing uh, for me to channel my energies in that direction artistically. Yeah. So how did you get in the acting then, the proper acting like in the Bollywood and... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I, I always did a lot of theater when I was in kindergarten. I, I went on after Peter Pan. I, I think I played Rama and Ramayana, and then <laughs> uh, you know, with kindergarten, as you know, how it's going to be. It's a, it's yeah. a fun little play, and uh, I, I, I'm told uh, the next thing I did was uh, Ali Baba, and all the forty thieves were kindergartners. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can imagine what a mess that would have been. Like very exciting, a lot of noise and stuff. But uh, after all that, you know, I, I all through school. And all through um, high school and college, um, I've continued to do theater, a lot of improvisation, and uh, you know, a lot of you know, modeling and that kind of thing. And uh, when I finished my uh, you know high school, I had a choice. You know, in our community, as you know, in the Indian community, yes, yes. there's that pressure to like you know become a professional, you know, a, a doctor or a lawyer or engineer, which is considered the only safe professions, you know, to have a good livelihood. Yeah. But um, so I, I still had a lot of interest in my in, in performing. So uh, I had to choose between going to drama school or to go to engineering school. And I was the topper of my school. I was valedictorian. Um, I had a choice of either you know going to a top drama school or to go to Bitspilani. And so I ended up going to Bitspilani and attending uh, you know a college there for my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. Oh, that's um, so that's kind of like how that path went. Um, and you know, fast forward many years, I came here to go to graduate school. I have a master's, you know, in uh, mechanical engineering. I worked as a rocket scientist, as an aerospace engineer for many years, uh, both with uh, you know, uh, you know, Indian organizations and with U.S. organizations in defense. And uh, much later, you know, when I moved to Silicon Valley, I used to MC a lot of events. I used to be master of ceremonies and host a lot of events. So uh, somebody just came up to me and said, hey, do you want to participate in this competition? It's called Mr. India California. So I said, what the heck, yeah, sure. And I actually won the competition. And uh, that was kind of like the kind of coming back to acting type of thing for me. Yeah. Uh, so I started doing a lot of modeling. I modeled for a lot of Bollywood designers like Rohit Bal and Satya Pal uh, and all these uh, wonderful designers. And I also modeled for SF Fashion Week uh, at the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. I uh, did modeling for Reebok, for uh, Steve Madden, uh, you know, a lot of big brand names. And, um, and then, you know, I, I continued uh, on to, I decided, you know what, I, I got to get some more formal training. Because I, I was a child actor, remember? I did a lot of theater. I was very experienced as a child actor, but I wanted to get some formal training. So I uh, decided to go to uh, American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco for drama school. Um, and uh, trained in method acting and all of that, and uh, yeah, you know, got into films that way, into into independent films in San Francisco. Oh, so I'm actually I'm actually coming back home here to the Bay Area. Okay. I lived here for many years when I worked here. Uh, I do live in Los Angeles now, but uh, that's how I started my acting career. Again, as an adult, was here, right here in the Bay Area. So. That's good, like you did uh, engineering from Bits Pilani. And yes. So how do you compare your engineering background with the 
एक्टिंग कर लेता है You know, they have a lot of parallels. You know, I think uh, I get this question from a lot of uh, uh, you know engineer friends, people who are in Silicon Valley, and also people on the other end of the spectrum. You know, who are like producers and directors. They ask me like, how how does that work? And the way I look at it is, I think a lot of engineering is very left brain thinking. It's a lot of logical, structured, organized thinking. And then something like the arts, you know, acting or directing or writing is all like very right brain thinking. And uh, I really believe, for all of us as human beings, I think we need to integrate those faculties, exactly. yeah. both left brain and right brain, because um, in various levels we do use, you know, creativity in our engineering work or tech, you know, technology work or anything that's very logical, cerebral, left brain work. Uh, but uh, really, uh, the full human potential can be accessed when you develop both sides of your. Uh, skills in terms of you know being creative and being logical, so that you can put it together and create something that's very original. Yes, that's good. So, like you did, the, now you are doing acting. You have uh, engineering degree. Yeah. Is there anything you just want to change? One thing in your life you don't want. <laughs> you know, you I. That's that's a very good question. I wouldn't change a thing, because okay. you know I believe that uh, where I am is the result of that journey. and if i changed anything in that process it would change where i am and i think you know there is no that's why you know i i like to always tell aspiring you know uh, kids or you know people who want to do uh, you know something that is very passionate for them but they hesitate or you know they don't have the support of family or friends is if you if it's your passion and you know you want to do it just go do it because life is short and you you have to just go do it you know So um, I don't know if I answered your question, but no, I, I may have digressed. <laughs> but uh, you know, feel free to uh, yeah. ask me a more specific question. If uh, no, no, that's wonderful. That uh, you got whatever you wanted. I think. Yes, that's yes. So uh, then, how did you go to Hollywood from? Like you started acting in right. India, then how did you come here, and how did you get in? So like I said, you know, uh, coming here was all through education. You know, I I came here to go to graduate school okay. for my uh, master's degree in engineering. I went to University of Maryland at College Park on the East Coast. Um, did uh, actually originally started off uh, with a PhD in aerospace engineering, but I was doing a lot of work that was uh, kind of destructive. So I decided not to um, you know continue that. But I finished with a master's in mechanical engineering and all that and um, i always had a lot of interest in technology marketing and technology so at the time is when the whole dot com thing was happening this is like in the 2000s yeah. so uh that's what brought me to california to silicon valley okay. and uh, uh so when i came here and i got back into all of my you know i told you about the competition i won i also was invited to go to india to participate in uh, the Grassen Mr India which is the, the main Mr India competition yes, I and I was a, a semi finalist in that as well uh, wow. you know for the southern region and so they invited me to fly to India for that I went did that and all of this led towards you know I mentioned earlier towards uh, films um, you know after drama school at ACT in San Francisco I uh, started doing independent films and uh, doing a lot of commercials a lot of corporate videos I've done you know corporate videos for Cisco for Oracle um for intel uh you know all these big blue chip companies in the bay area and uh the next logical you know progression for me was to work in like serious tv and film so uh that's when i decided to make the move to los angeles to hollywood and uh so pursue it, that yeah sorry was a, was it your dream uh, to work in hollywood sometime like definitely you know i think you know when you look at the see i i grew up with a lot of you know bollywood films Uh, I still go back and look at a lot of the Hindi films, a lot of Tamil films, uh, you know, that are uh, because I speak both languages very fluently, okay. and uh, uh, you know, I I have fond memories of growing up in India watching all these movies, and and even the there's a new wave of filmmaking coming out of Mumbai and out of Chennai. These are the two top film industries in India in terms of quality of filmmaking, and uh, I really look forward to exploring, you know, working in uh, Mumbai and Chennai. Uh, in in films, so so, but but I uh, to answer your question about Hollywood, you know, Hollywood has a very high production value in terms of the quality of films that come out. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying everything is always great, but at least you know there's that attention to detail, and there's a lot of effort that goes into creating a quality product. So I really feel fortunate that in my case, I happen to be in California. I happen to be able to go to Los Angeles and pursue, you know, acting in Hollywood. And I really feel it's a blessing in in a different way because I happen to be here it was just more practical 
to work in Hollywood rather than go back to like India to you know uh, start yeah. there. So, did you have to struggle to get in Hollywood? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily characterize it as struggle. I think with any life endeavor, mm -hmm. you have to have complete commitment. You have to put in the hard work. You have to train and prepare yourself. And then uh, when the right opportunities come, you have to capitalize on them and give your best. And, uh, you know, the, the same skills that apply to success in any profession applies to entertainment and the arts and being an artist and a performer. So I wouldn't necessarily characterize, as, uh, characterize it as difficult. I would say that it pro definitely requires much more commitment because it's very non-traditional, especially in our yes. community. Yes. Uh, in, in, because, you know, family is very... They're very supportive, but they're sometimes concerned that whether you know this can be a, a stable career, if it's going to be sustainable, if you're be, you'll be able to do this for a long time. So those are some of the kind of specific challenges in yeah. this field. As, I mean, I mean, nobody's going to question it if they say, "I'm going to form a Silicon Valley startup and yeah. try to get funding." Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, beta, go do it. <laughs> yeah. Because you being an immigrant, yeah. yeah, it's even more difficult to pursue this field, right? You know, I wouldn't say it's necessarily an immigrant. I think I, I think what you're t talking about is maybe stereotyping. Is that what you're referring to? Like, I understand that, you know, uh, for example, our diaspora, the Indian community, yeah, exactly. is, uh, is very narrowly, very parochially represented in mainstream media. You know, we're considered the engineers, the doctors, 7-Eleven managers, you know, cab drivers. This is kind of like the stereotype of it, of South no, Asians. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in mainstream yeah, media, I mean, and that's changing, you know, it's, yeah. it's very heartening to note that that's changing. And uh, uh, in that sense, you know, being an immigrant, like you're saying, being someone from another Country. part of the world, uh, that representation is not necessarily equitable in the sense that uh, you won't see a big action hero who's an Indian, I mean, you know, in, in a Hollywood movie, not yet. I think it's getting there slowly, you know, we're seeing you know, wonderful work being done by you know, top Indian actors who come to Hollywood and work, and that's happening more and more, which is very good to note. But uh, I would say that uh, it's, uh, it's the other challenges in terms of yeah. ourselves being clear about what we want to do, our commitment, and getting the kind of commitment from our families support, and, yeah. and support from the community. That's, I think, the most important thing, yeah. Yeah, so what is your dream role? <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh, uh, you know, I... I have a few different genres I gravitate towards. I, I love very intelligent scripts. Uh, so, um, you know, very cerebral films like, like the movies that Christopher Nolan makes, you know, like Inception or Memento, those kinds of films, or, you know, A Few Good Men or Runaway Jury. These kinds of films are like my first kind of passion, like very intelligent stories that have like good pace and like they're very thrilling to watch, that kind of thing. Uh, but I also, you know, with my background, you know, I, I was raised very spiritually and um, I really love stories that have a spiritual theme to them. Um, themes of like forgiveness, acceptance, um, you know, uh, things of like coming of age, like where people discover themselves, uh, people learn to move on, you know, they let go of something that didn't work before and they move on. These are all very spiritual concepts which they don't necessarily have to be told in a very spiritual way. It could be tell, told in a very real human way where it's a human story. So that's the other genre I gravitate towards. And, uh, you know, I love the action flicks. <laughs> I, I recently worked on a film called Flawless in which I, uh, I'm, I, I ride motorbikes and I'm an aircraft pilot as well. So um, I'm, I'm starting to use those skills in my acting as well. I got to ride Buell bikes, which are like these very high horsepower, you know, motorbikes. And that was a lot of fun to do. Yeah. <laughs> so what were your key roles? Like so far you have played with so many yes. movies and also yes. in TV shows. So um, I, I think, you know, you, you were mentioning earlier, and you know, I've worked in uh, um, a, a lot of different, uh, you know, platforms. In studio films, uh, most recently, uh, there was a Thanksgiving release, a Christmas uh, I think screening release for Happy Feet 2. And uh, I actually played an Indian penguin <laughs> in Happy Feet 2. And I gave that voice and it was, it was, it was just a, a, an honor to work with the likes of you know, Robin Williams and all these great actors who voiced the other penguin voices. I got to do some work on Mission Impossible 4, like you mentioned. Um, I've worked on Eat, Pray, Love. Um, and uh, I've done a lot of TV, mainly a lot of network TV. I've uh, worked for pretty much all the networks, you know, for ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, Discovery, um, Comedy Central. I've done shows for all of them for Nickelodeon. 
Um, the, the, the things that more, most recently I've done, I would say um, I worked on Castle for ABC. Uh, the, uh, it's it's kind of like a cop drama, if you've seen Castle on ABC. And I was in the uh, season premiere episode. <laughs> I see the, the cameraman is giving me the heads up. Thanks, Renato. <laughs> so I see you're a fan, right? <laughs> um, so I worked on Castle. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, it was the premiere episode of uh, the season, for season four. Um, and I also was recently doing an interview for uh, some, uh, you know, TV stations in India, and I hear that it's actually very popular in India, and that's where it's going. Everything is going global these days, you know. Mm -hmm. Hollywood shows are being seen in India, and I'm like, I'm very touched when people write to me from India and say, oh, we loved you in this, you know, like, aren't you in Mumbai? Like, how do you know about this episode I worked with? Like, yeah, we see it here, you know, it comes on our cable channels. So that's, that's really good to know uh, that uh, people love that kind of work that's coming out of Hollywood that's being seen in India. Um, and just the other day, my sister was telling me she was in Germany for some business uh, for her work. And uh, she happened to just flip on the TV in Munich and uh, uh, House MD was running. And I did a role on House MD uh, in uh, like a couple seasons ago and, and I played this Hindu priest uh, on House MD, which is like this medical show with Hugh Laurie uh, and a wonderful cast. I really enjoyed working with all of them. And uh, she said she saw it in Germany. You know, and I was like, wow, I mean, like, this really gets around, you know, it's, you know, TV and film is being seen all through the world. Um, you know, I worked on a, you know, several shows for uh, Jerry Bruckheimer's production company at CBS. I, I did uh, Miami Medical, um, uh, which was on CBS, and before that we shot it as a pilot called Miami Trauma. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a couple of shows on Nickelodeon, so uh, if you have viewers who are kids, I'm sure they'll relate to iCarly and Victorious. Yeah, I have seen it. <laughs> yeah, so it's 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 a part of that teenage uh, population, and um, so uh, I've I've pretty much worked in you know for all the networks and uh, several so studios. You are so successful. So what is Thank the you. magic formula for the success? I mean, for others, how can they get in Hollywood? You know, I would say um, the most important thing is to find your own path. The most important thing is not to try to copy anybody okay. because we all have unique strengths and skills and weaknesses and those weaknesses can be transformed into, into you know, strengths and skills. And it's very important to be clear in our own hearts, in our own mind, exactly what we're passionate about and really be 100% committed to it and pursue it full heart, you know, wholeheartedly. And I think that is probably the best recipe for success. I can think of, and I stay away from giving advice, but really, I I, th I feel like that's really you know the way to do it, in any profession really, not just in the arts or entertainment, but any any kind of endeavor, any dream anybody has, whether it's you know going into public service, you know to become a you know a, you know officer in the government, city government, state government, federal government, or if it's to work uh, in in social service, in entertainment, technology, whatever the field is, I think you know these are very you know, common kind of factors you have to, you know, uh, yeah, exactly. use as a recipe. So, what do you do in your spare time? Like, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm an aircraft pilot, like I said, so I love to fly single-engine aircraft. Uh, my favorites are Cessna 172s and Piper Warriors. Um, these are small single-engine planes and, you know, uh, I, I fly around Southern California a lot. Um, and uh, I look forward to traveling more, flying on my own. Um, I, I love to drive bikes. I love uh, Suzuki Jixers and uh, Kawasaki Ninjas <laughs> as bikes. Um, I love to read a lot. <laughs> so um, uh, I love to read a variety of you know books. Yeah. So uh, how do you get so much time? But <laughs> like it's very difficult. You have to find time. That's a that's a good question. I think you know if you're passionate about something, you'll find the time. You have to make the time for what you're passionate about, and then you know all the unimportant things will fall away. Only the most important things that are your passion, you'll, you'll always find time to do things you're passionate about. And then obviously there's a question of being efficient and becoming more organized as well. Yeah, so uh, tell us about your upcoming movie. Okay, um, I actually have a film called Unshackled that I'll be playing the lead uh, actor's role in. It's a very socially conscious film. It has positive themes about acceptance around Muslims and also around mental health, specifically about post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, because that's a topic, you know, veterans, you know, after they come back, serving us, protecting us outside, 
they're neglected, their mental health isn't taken care of. And so uh, we thought these two issues um, uh, have to be addressed, and that's the film. It's a psychological thriller. It's going to be very entertaining, not, not at all a preachy you know, uh, story. Very entertaining psychological thriller. So your, your viewers can you know, check it out on uh, Facebook at uh, Unshackle the Film. Okay. So that's www.facebook.com slash unshackled the film. So, yeah, thank you very much, Rajo, for Absolutely. being here and telling us uh, about yourself. Sure. And uh, uh, you are so nice and so humble. Oh, thank and you. Thank down you. to earth person. Uh, I really had a good time talking to you. It was a pleasure. And uh, Indian community is proud of you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you That's very touching. You're very sweet. Thank you. You have done so much for Indian community. Uh, like, you have made mark in the Hollywood. Sure. So. I really thank you for that. Oh, thank you so much. And I look forward to it. And I, I would, you know, encourage all of your listeners to just pursue their dreams with a lot of passion and 100% commitment. Okay, thank you. Sure, you're welcome. Hi, my name is Shah Parali, your attorney in California. Let me help you and save you from bankruptcy by doing a debt settlement for you. If you want to know more about debt settlement, check our website, yourdebtsettlementattorney.com, yourdebtsettlementattorney.com, or call us on 510-742-5887. Remember, you don't have to stay in debt.